Sounds good. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Equa live stream Agridome Expo. I'm Charles de Toy, and I will be your host for the day. And with me today is our CEO, Ronald van Lochem. Ronald, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate that. I look forward to doing this presentation with you. Yeah, great. Thanks for the opportunity. This will be my first time being a co-host, and I'm looking forward to it and uh, presenting the awesome product to you guys. And uh, do not be afraid to ask any questions afterwards. Thank you so much. Thank you. Then also we have our colleague, uh, Rudy Bosov. He is outside. He will be doing all the technicalities. If you have any questions that you want to uh, put on the chat, Rudy will be uh, handling those for us. But if you have any questions afterwards will be the time to ask those. So without any further ado, we will be going into the presentation. We will discuss the presentation where after we will do a very nice question and answer session. So let's start with the presentation. Thank you. Let's switch over. Right. Equidam. Equidam is a company that was started by Ronald van Lochem's father quite a long time. And I would like to know from you, Ronald, a little bit more about this company, where it started, and how it came to be where it is today. Yeah, thanks, Sean. It's a, it's a long story, but I'll make it short. Um, we originally started as a company building pools, uh, swimming pools, uh, concrete swimming pools. And from there on, my dad developed the concrete dams, which been known as the Nautilus um, Beton Dam or the uh, yeah, concrete dams. And we built over 4,000 of those reservoirs throughout South Africa. And uh, in 98, I joined the company and we started to develop steel tanks, steel reservoirs. And uh, eventually there was a need for, for the Agri-Dome, um, a product that we've seen overseas in America and very successful in Australia and New Zealand. And uh, we're very fortunate to be able to bring this product to you guys and helping farmers achieving better results with their livestock and uh, whatever purposes they might, might use it for. So yeah, um, history established in yeah, 92. Um, and uh, since then, the company has grown from strength to strength. And uh, we, we believe in, in our values, in our Christian values. Um, we always honest in what we do, what we believe in. And uh, we want to bring the best product to our customers with the best service and after sale service. And we will always stand by our word. Um, because uh, our customers is what brought us to where we are today. Mm -hmm. And we very fortunately having customers. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the team. I'm pr proud of uh, the guys working for us now. Um, and uh, what we achieved till today. Thank you, Ronald. And then the company is built more than 8,400 tanks already throughout the country. And that's, that's actually growing on a monthly basis. Um, but it's not only South Africa. Uh, is it we, we have built in, in a whole lot of uh, areas in Africa. We've gone into other areas of the world as well. So we are truly an international company supplying international. Uh, yes, tanks. absolutely. Our products is all designed such a way that it's easy flat packed uh, and, and put into a container. So it's portable, exportable, very easy to install, very fast. So um, that's basically uh, all the products that we develop is developed in such a way that we can supply the whole world, in fact. Um, and we've exported to basically 70% of all African countries in Africa. 
So we're very fortunate, we're very glad to be in such a position to be able to export uh, all our products. And uh, that's what makes us stronger than any other product in the market. Yeah. What we do oftentimes is we, we send a supervisor or um, sometimes a whole team to the neighboring country and they will go and erect a structure, whether it's an agridome or a tank. And that is the way we, we do it all over the world. So as you can see, this company is very innovative. It's adaptable to new things. So we are going places. And just to give you a, a short idea, a small idea of what it is that we do, uh, we have our main line, which is our core product, which is a smart tank, which is zinc alumin coated tank. These tanks go from 6,000 liters all the way up to 3.2 million liters. And that is quite something. I'm very proud of that and I am very, very happy that I can be associated with a company yeah. that has done such. I think that's a, quite extraordinary. It's, it's, it's quite an achievement to, to build a steel tank um, of such volume um, that, and it's very competitive to concrete reservoirs or municipal reservoirs, or, uh, which takes you maybe up to a year, two years to install. Mm -hmm. Whereas a smart tank can be installed in literally six weeks. Uh, you can have a tank operational and for your needs. So it's a very fast, cost effective way of storing water um, compared to conventional methods. And uh, so the market is picking up on it. It's, it's really a big demand for these type mm -hmm. of tanks. Yeah. And uh, we're very fortunate to be able to supply those tanks in time. Yeah. And then it's not only those, on, on the total opposite side of, of the spectra, we also have the home tanks, which is a rain water harvesting tank. And those are smaller tanks that you place next to the side of the house with your gutters harvesting the rain. And it's a totally different application, but it's a very, very smart looking application. It's very elegant. It's a, it's a perfect tank for, for the architectural designs uh, where you don't want to see a plastic tank or a tank that's that's a green color or something like that um, so that the home tank is is built um, according to the roof color that you that you want or any color that you want so it fits into the environment fits into your home design and looks nice looks beautiful aesthetical and it's a long it's a, it's a tank that will outlast any other tank any other plastic tank yeah, our colleague Cindy will be hosting a Aqua live stream uh, session next week. Yes, next week. Yeah. yeah, and we will, you can really tune in for that as well because you will be very, very impressed with that tank as I was when I saw it for the first time. Another tank that is very, very important for us is our fire tank range. Now that's not just any tank, that tank has a POSMAC shell and we are the only company in the world that can currently use POSMAC steel as uh, as the sheets for for the for the tank yeah. now so this tank is our latest development um we, we're very proud of it um it's the only tank that's bolted but without the liner without the internal mm -hmm. liner so uh um there's literally no maintenance on the tank mm -hmm. the tank will outlast any other tank you can put it down it can cannot rust and uh, it, it, it looks awesome. It looks very nice. And then it takes us to the Rhino tank. Now the Rhino tank is the fusion bonded epoxy coated tank, which is a super heavy duty tank, if I can put it in layman's terms. That tank will, is a tank that can handle pHs from two up until 11. So you can literally throw anything at that tank and it will handle it. Yes, the demand for the tank is actually very, very big. Um, and there's no one manufacturing that tank in, in our country. So that's why we decided to bring this product to the market. Um, so you don't have to import and we keep our money in our country where we need it most. Yes. So that's the reason why we developed this tank. And uh, so hopefully it will grow over time and, and will um, have a great benefit to our company. Yeah. And Ronnie, just to uh, confirm, I mean, all our tanks are engineer designed and that's a benefit that, that we are very proud of. I mean, that is something we can offer. Uh, we don't have to stand back for any other tank in the world because our tanks are on well, par. 
Yeah, I can add to that. We don't take any chances. We, we're not going to deliver a product that's underdeveloped or underdesigned at all. So anytime in the future, whenever a customer needs a tank signed off or checked by engineer, we will send them the design qualifications and give them a certificate. So we, we never shy away on quality. We always deliver on, on the best quality and the best standards that, that's, that there is. Right, and that brings us actually to the topic of today's presentation, and that is the Agridome on-site shelter, which I am very excited about. Um, you, you, you told me a story of where you saw it for the first time, and I would actually like you to share that with the, with the viewers as well. Yeah, I went to America to source for tank liners um, in Sioux Falls. So we went up there and uh, met suppliers to look at different type of, of uh, liners for our tanks. And uh, driving into Sioux Falls, I saw one of those structures on the side of the road and I immediately went to the company and talked to them about mm -hmm. it and what's the purpose for it and um, how is it standing uh, against steel or concrete structures and all that. So I saw the advantages about 15 years ago. Um, and we, we started developing on the tanks, um, on, on the Agridome. Um, and I weren't too happy with the design, so we spent another 10 years on the designs and everything. Um, but where it's now, it's, it's a very, very quality design product that um, is up to all the world standards, um, very competitively priced against other structures. And as you will see now in the presentation, what you can use it for, what's the purpose and advantage and everything. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to discuss today is, first of all, agribusiness issues and why we designed this product. We're going to look at the specifications of the product. We then look at a few examples. I always like to look at something I have a picture, if, especially if I can look and feel. I'm a look and feel type of person. If I buy something, I want to see it. So we're going to show you a few examples. We're going to look at the features and the benefits. Then some options that you can have with this Agridome. And then applications, typical application that's out there already. And then after the conclusion, we're going to go into the question and answer session, as I mentioned at the beginning. Right, with the agri business uh, out in South Africa specifically, there's quite a number of issues that they face. Uh, one of them being low animal production, and that is quite often caused by stress of the animals. There's also an issue in South Africa, especially uh, now after COVID, where you have a lot of livestock theft, and that's been picking up, unfortunately. So high maintenance costs, uh, trying to keep your animals safe. That's also an issue that they battle with. And then trying to keep the animals safe, they often, the farmers often put up steel structures, which proved to be quite expensive. If you don't have those things and the animals remain in the felt, you always have high mortality of your livestock, so you have lots of losses. And then the harsh African weather doesn't help at all when it comes to that. So we need something that can actually address all of these issues. And let's have a look how the Agridome does exactly that. So the Agridome is one of the most versatile dome shelter structures in South Africa. It's a structure of 100 uses. And if you look at that structure, it's not a small structure at all. So the Agridome is made with the finest materials and very good design. There's exceptional craftsmanship in every piece that, of, uh, that is made to make up the, the Agridome. And there's seamless customization with every option that our client may choose. What is important for us though, is that this Agridome, it doesn't shrink, it doesn't swell, it doesn't split at the seams, it doesn't warp, it doesn't rust or rot, that's the beams. There's no corrosion of the beams. And then the sizes, people always ask us what the sizes are. The smallest one. I can just add maybe, um, the sizes 
before we go there, mm. uh, we establish fixed sizes for, for a very good reason. Mm. Um, we decided on a 12 meter length and a six meter length, that's the same as a container. Yes. Um, so basically on your need, you can add as many sections you like. And on the spans, there's also certain spans that we work on. So it's very standard for a good reason. All right. So we'll, we'll get to that in a moment. But yes, that is, that's a very important point. And um, I've got a few examples of exactly what you told us now. And sure. I'm excited to show you that. So we start with large at six meter, then we go big, and then we go huge all the way up to 30 meters. Now, of course, as you will see, how the wider the dome goes, the, the, the higher it also goes. And you'll see with this, if you look underneath that dome, you'll see there's a tractor, there's a, a combi, there's actually a pickup underneath there, and you can't see them because they look so small. So if that really is a large structure, you can do a lot of things under there. As you mentioned just now, the standard lengths we have is the six meter and the 12 meter, and that's specifically for it to fit onto a standard uh, container. Mm -hmm. And if we look at some of the specifications, firstly, it is aesthetically pleasing. It does not look like a circus tent that is flapping in the wind. So this is really a very nice taut structure. So it's, it's, it's designed to withstand 100 kilometers hour wind load. So it's all uh, tensioned in, in, yeah. in a length and in the width, it's tensioned in such a way that you can actually walk over it. Yeah. Um, so this is not a tent, it's also not a greenhouse, but yes. we will get to that. Now that is quite important and uh, quite a few differences between that. So you can mount it on gun poles, you can mount it on concrete walls, you can mount it on a number of um, of things like the, the, the container. We have some clients that wants to put it on concrete pillars. So there's really a lot of options with that. If you mount it on top of containers, you actually create a workspace in between the containers that shelters your, 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 your workforce as well as your equipment. Yes, and it's a temporary structure. So you don't need municipal approvals or anything. You can put the structure up and remove it or um, move it or whatever you want to do with it. Yes, and that's a very, very important uh, point that you mentioned there. And I would like to expand a little bit on that uh, just a little bit later in the presentation as well. So if you stack the containers, you can stack them up to three high. And that is if you really have very tall equipment. Um, if I need to fit my CEO in there, I can do that. I'm big, but not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the beams, as you see there, that is hot dipped galvanized rolled steel. So with the galvanizing, you're not going to have any problems with rust. The cover that we have is a 700 gram per square meter PVC, and it's UV stabilized and is made out of ripstop. So you're not going to have any tears in it. I can add to that um, on the cover. It's also covered with, uh, um, with a coating with an extra extra coating that prevents the uh, plastic from leaching out of the material um, so it gives us a longer durability in the sun and in the outdoors um, and also what what helps the extra coating is um, it, it keeps it clean so whenever there's rain or anything uh, all the okay. dust is washed off from from the cover because there's certain situations that you you want sunlight but you want to prevent the uv from entering the building that's right and also you don't want to paint it because the moment you paint something, it, it, the costs just go well, through there's, the roof. There's no painting, there's no maintenance on this building. Yeah, this is really a very good benefit. Right, so let's look at the differences between the polyethylene and the PVC covers. So polyethylene is the covers that they normally use for vegetable tunnels. So yes. this PVC, has got twice the tensile strength than polyethylene. It actually also, um, it's got twice the elasticity of poly polyethylene, which yes. means now if something stretches and it doesn't have the elasticity, it doesn't come back to the original shape. So mm. polyethylene will, will stretch and then it will start to sag and pull. 
whereas with the PVC that we use, you don't have that. Yeah, so. yeah we, we use the, the PVC for the strength and to be able to tension it in all directions. So uh, you don't have any loose ends that will um, damage in the wind or any, anything like that. So the, the structure is it's, it's such a way designed that it can withstand the tensions that we put on it with the cover. Yeah. Um, and uh, so you can't compare it at all with a polypropylene or polyethylene mm. um, structure. And it just lasts so much longer as well, especially, I mean, since it can withstand such a long wind load, such a harsh wind load, it just lasts a lot longer. And if it does damage for some reason, so for instance, it's, it's a tree falling out whatsoever, you can replace it at, at mm -hmm. uh, a very low cost. Uh, so the, the after sale service is, is very quick to replace it, very easy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you can move the building also very very easily because okay. of because of that that's very that's a very very good benefit that yeah. you can break it down and move it yeah you mentioned earlier about the customization that you can do the extra lengths the extra widths and if you look at uh, what is happening behind us now you can see how this has been done in the past so you see the sections have been put behind each other next to each other and if you look at this building, it really just makes economic sense. There's no question about that. Yeah, and it's also quick to, to install. It's, it's, it's not a long construction period. You can typically put a building like that up in, in say, two months. Um, so it's very quick to assemble. Very, you can transport to remote areas. And uh, like most of the mining companies, only, they're only temporary on a site and they That's move. Right. So you don't need any permanent buildings on your site. You can use it for temporary storage, uh, temporary workshops, um, or whatever the need might be. So this is a perfect application for mining companies that move throughout the world. Um, and there's a huge demand for that. Yeah. If, if you look at those uh, shelters behind us, I've worked it out. That's, uh, that's a 36 meter long uh, length mm. and the width there is 12 meters so if okay. you look at the cover of only one of those one of those will cover 432 square meters that's the cover from end to end or the floor floor area that's just the floor area. just the area. floor area yeah that okay. is covered like that yeah so and then there's four of those and it's a big space that they have under cover and mm -hmm. then storage with the, yeah. with the uh, yeah. containers there's an example of how you put two of those together. Um, you have a lot of space in there and you have a, quite a presence. And I'm going just to flip that around so you can see it on the other side. So there on the right hand side, you can see what those look like. And they don't look that large until you look on the left where you see where it's only a single stack contained and you realize how big those things actually are. Mm. There's a lot of space. Now, what is important to me is that we are ready to ship this anywhere. We can Absolutely. ship it anywhere in Africa. We're ready to go. So Absolutely. if you have a need for cover, we got you covered. No, it's fast and cost effective. Yeah. So some of the features. First of all, there's maximal usable space. There's no pillars, no posts, nothing in between that can encumber your movements. It maintains its shape because it doesn't stretch. It's not treated with chemicals. So there's no arsenic, nothing like that. So it's safe for mm. any use. It's very strong ripstop, as we mentioned before. Inside is actually a very controlled climate. So in winter, it, it tends to keep a bit warmer, like as if it's a big blanket that's been pulled over. And in summer, it's nice and cool because it's under shade. Uh, in, in winter, it's, it's um, up to three degrees warmer inside. And the summer is up to three degrees cooler inside. Because of the high structure, your warm air uh, goes up. And in uh, and, and winter, you get sunlight goes through, but it, mm. it blocks out the UV of, of, of the sun. So it, it won't damage your equipment or your stock or whatever you've, you've put under it. Um, so, uh, and, and the aesthetical, um, what was the other one? Okay. No, it's, it's also, it's, the, the self-cleaning is also, yeah. it, it, you don't need the paint, it's going to self-clean. Whenever there's a bath of rain, it will be mm. very, very clean and sparkly again. Mm. 
low cost per square meter, that is a benefit that we don't, we're not selling it on the cost, but it is a benefit. The bigger the dome actually goes, the, well, the more cost effective it becomes. Mm -hmm. Very fast construction. So if you want to put this one up versus a normal permanent building, uh, you, you can't compare it. It's not going to take you months. It's going to literally take you weeks and it's up. Yes. The temporary versus uh, permanent structure, it is not seen as a permanent structure, although a lot of our clients use it as a semi-permanent structure. Mm -hmm. Now I'll come back to that when we talk about the benefits as well. So all the components are SABS approved and we have a 10 year guarantee on our product. So that will give you peace of mind. It's actually been rated best of storage solution. So we're very proud of that as well. Going to the benefits, as we said, unencumbered space. There's nothing that you can snag on, nothing that will bump if you move around and your animals is also safe under there. It well, there's, there's no, sorry for that, mm -hmm. there's, there's no columns inside. Nothing, yeah. So it's because of the spans and uh, it, it gives you open space, like you're saying. Yeah. And because it maintains its shape so well, so you don't have a lot of maintenance on it. So you don't, it just remains as it was. Yeah. There's fewer pests and pollutants. Uh, there's actually no place for the pests to hide because there's just no corners on the ground. So there well, there's, there's no trusses for birds to sit on. True. So there's, there's no place for dust to collect. So the building will always stay clean and healthy on the inside. It's very easy to clean with a house or anything if you do need to. Yeah. And you mentioned the controlled climate. So the, the acoustics inside is also very, very nice. It's, it's um, what's important here for me is if your animals are inside and there's a thunderstorm, mm. it actually dampens the, that loud, yeah. harsh noises and the animals yeah. just remain much more calm than they would have if they were out in the felt. Well, they will stay calm because uh, nothing scares them. And you will actually get a higher production rate on your animals because they, yeah. they uh, love the environment. The acoustic, like you're saying, yeah. it's, it's just phenomenal to, to stand inside one of these buildings. Yes. Um, it's, it's not like a steel building where all the sound bounces to the roof and back. That's um, awesome. So it, it stays... Um, yeah, nice, nice and acoustic and inside. Yeah. Even with hail, you don't have that clatter. That Not at all. Clatter on the roof. So no, that's no. that's a very nice benefit. So there's a, enough sunlight because it's translu translucent. The sun, the light will come through. Light, but it blocks out the UV. Yeah. Uh, also, because it's such a high structure, there's enough ventilation, so it always smells fresh in there. Uh, that's a very nice benefit in this. Cost, it's lower than uh, traditional methods of putting up a barn. Now, what I wanted to talk to you about was this building permit. Because it's seen as a temporary structure, you don't need a building permit. Now, a building permit can take up to 18 months for a big building like this. So, all you want to do is to protect your animals or you want to protect your machinery and you have to wait before you can build a structure. With this, you don't have any waiting time. You put it up in a matter of weeks mm. and your your means of production is yeah. actually protected. Well, for any temporary construction site, um, this is perfect because mm. it can be moved, and but also perfect for farmers to use. Um, and if you do need to move your farm or buy another farm, you can actually back up the structure and take it with. True. And uh, what is in interesting in Africa, where you get a short-term lease, uh, let's say you have a 39-year lease, um, it's no longer the 99 year leases that they get, they now get the 39 year leases. After a while, you can pull up your roots and move to the next place and just start all, all over. Right. Absolutely. Makes it so perfect. So there you go, strong construction, and that is the Agridome. But let's have a look at some of the options because there's quite a number. We had a look now at the width and the length options but we're still going to have a look at all the mounting options that we have, all the sidewall options, and then also the, end, the ends, how to cover those ends. Okay. So first of all, 
a lot of our clients want to put it up on gum poles because then they have easy access in and out of the cover. And that's, that's very nice. You can have steel pillars as well. It doesn't really matter which kind, but gum poles, very nice, cost effective and always available. If you need something that's a bit more sturdy to protect animals from, uh, I don't know, from things that can take them from the inside, then well, concrete walls could be an option. Yeah, if you want to keep wind out or you want to use it for grain storage or anything like that, the bunker wall option, I think that's what you're showing there. That's correct. It's yeah. a bunker wall option. So this is casted, uh, transported to site, and you don't need any foundation or anything. You just put it down so it's also temporary structure and then you can put the dome on it. So in any harvest season, you can store your grain in there. Um, and after the harvest, you can actually uh, use it for your equipment or anything else you would like to use it for. Yeah. So it's, it's a multi-purpose building that can be useful for various applications. True, yeah. That, uh, what you mentioned there is very important because a lot of guys will, the machinery takes a lot of space, but then the um, you don't have nice access mm. if you want to store your grain in there uh, yeah. once the machinery is outside. Yeah. But this, you have all the access in the world. Shipping containers is what we spoke about earlier. You can mount the shipping container either on the outside, like on the picture there, but a lot of our clients want them on the outside so that they have more space. Then combinations, you have a combination of a shipping container on the one side and then poles on the other side, or you can have uh, the, co the container with a concrete wall. Mm. Sometimes they want the, the cover flat on the ground. Yeah, and also, yeah. this dome doesn't make it, this picture doesn't do that justice because it actually goes up quite high and um, you don't really need the wall. Mm. Yeah, but it's nice to have such quite a few options to use a building for so whatever application you have we, we will make sure that it fits your your needs yeah now if you look at the at the end walls as well you can either close up half of the end or you can close up the full end full wall of course if you close it up like this you need a door of sorts so you can speak to us about the, the options that you want in terms of doors so there are multiple options i'm not going to show everything yeah then uh, curtain sides this is basically a pvc side that's running all along the length and this is good if you want to, uh, um, a very fast solution to cover it mm. but we had requests from guys with the sheep that wants um, okay. they don't want it fully covered so they have a partial side mm. curtain yeah it's also very nice. I don't know if you're going to show it. You can put your, your crypts on the outside. So your, your feeding crypts on the outside um, where your tractor can, can move and, and fill it up and your animals stay on the inside um, without any harm. Or so. no, I don't have a picture of that, but what, mm. isn't, what is very important with that one is you, have, you can have a, a dome on either side of your pathway and mm. then your tractor just has to traverse the roadway once yes. and you can distribute the feed on both sides yeah. simultaneously so you save time as well yeah and what we're showing there is roller blind sides so we've got multiple options on that we've got a, a well a cost effective option and then we have a very nice option with um, sides that works with mm. pulleys and that was actually for a client that wanted to use it as a market oh. marketplace interesting yeah. <laughs> right, there's all the options. I don't have the one with the, with the feeding um, mm. cross on there, yeah. so I must add that one as well. Absolutely. If you look behind us, there's a typical example of a dome that doesn't have walls. So this one is sitting flush on the ground, and you, if you'll see inside, there's actually horses in a horse ring where they practice inside, so it's out of the elements, out of the weather. Yeah throughout the year. Yeah. This is what it looks like for the animals once they're inside. So this is just perfect for feeding lots. The animals will stay calm. They uh, are in a controlled environment. The same when it rains. I mean, yeah. you can see it's pouring outside. And the animals on the inside, they, and, they're not worried. And the other thing, um, the structures that we have installed, um, the animals actually love it. They love going in there. 
Um, they love this space. They love the um, being out the sun or out the rain. And the uh, reason why, why the customers like the structure because the rain can't get in there because the structure comes down low to the side. Yeah. So if you do get hard rain or anything like that, your, your, your uh, bedding material, your feed, mm -hmm. or your animals stay dry. That's and, sure. and that's one of the biggest advantages of having such a structure. Besides that uh, you get natural sunlight going through, blocking out the UV, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a perfect environment for maximum production of your, of your animals, or yeah. in this case, milk, milk. Interesting on this picture, you'll see the guttering that they've put up on the side as well. So mm -hmm. you can do rainwater harvesting as well. Yes. And if you combine that with our home tank range, you can feed the animals <laughs> with that as well. You can go green. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, feed lots for smaller animals, smaller livestock like sheep. So you can see how effective that would be. Mm -hmm. And there's another example of a dome that doesn't have uh, pillars or posts. Or what's what's not nice about this, um, normally they would cover it with plastic and yes. your, your feet is starting to sweat inside and, and building up mold. Whereas if you put your, your, your hay bales into an agri-dome, uh, you get natural um, air flow through the, through the structure. So it will never uh, start molding or anything on, on the inside. So it's, it's actually very easy to load it in and load it out and uh, without pulling a cover over it and open it up every time. All right, then sport arenas. So because it's so large, you can really do a lot of things underneath it. And just to give you an idea how big this actually is, there's a picture of the guy practicing underneath the dome. And it really looks stunning underneath. It doesn't look like it's a, a barn. It looks like it's a showground. So there's a lot of things you can do. Well, the horse riding arenas are very expensive, expensive to maintain. So you actually want to keep it out the rain. Um, otherwise, you need very good training systems. So it, it's, it's a costly thing. Um, and you can't ride throughout the year. Whereas you put a, a structure up over your uh, equestrian area, you can use it throughout the year. Rain, hail, sunshine, whatever. You can use it throughout the year. So it's very, very popular for horse riding arenas. Well, that's good because we always have thunderstorms in Pretoria. and. Uh, at, at a moment's notice and then yeah. this is not going to affect your, exactly. your event. Yeah. Warehousing is a very, very important uh, thing that I want to address. Now, what you see here is a warehouse on the inside and it looks funny because the containers on the side has been cut out. So this is an option that the specific client wanted. Mm. So, but from the outside, it just looks like a normal big warehouse. You don't have to have it cut out. <coughs> And then if you really want to go big, dockyards is a perfect example to keep everything out of the rain, out of the moisture. It's always wet, always moist. Uh, yeah. there's, there's always rust. Uh, if you look at those containers on the side, you'll see what I mean. But inside of those domes, um, you can control the environment. Well, it's, it's a fast warehouse, very fast to put up. Yeah. Workshops and work areas. Um, especially if there's greenfield developments, you need a place where you, your stockyard, where you can put your stock, where you can have a workshop for your vehicles, where uh, it's ideal for that. Border posts, I'm, I'm not focusing on a border post specifically, but you have a lot of controlled uh, gate entrances all over, you know, I'm looking maybe at uh, inspection areas yes, and, and lodges, that kind of thing where you yeah. want a control gate. Mm. and you want it undercover. There you go, perfect solution for that. Mm. For the mines, heavy machinery, and then if you really want to go big equipment, it's perfect for that. Absolutely. Aircraft hangers, now one day, I would like to have something like that. You know, just what, to, the dome or aircraft? Well, I would have to have Both. the dome to put the aircraft in. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Go hand in hand. Right. Did you know walls without a roof is immigration? It's no cover. But the roof always provides shelter with or without walls. Absolutely. <laughs> so we call the agri-dome strong. 
but you will call it peace of mind. That's what we do. So with that, I believe we have everybody suitably covered. I am really impressed with this, and I hope that you are also going to be impressed as I was. You can contact us for more information on 086 100 10 10, but you're welcome to also visit the website. It's uh, aquadam.co.za. The email address there is my own. It's charl at aquadam.co.za, but you can utilize sales at aquadam.co.za. But any of the social media channels is where you can also follow us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube. We have everything posted there as well. Sure. Fantastic. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. So I would like to know, are there any questions? Do you perhaps have any questions? Any questions from the audience that we have? So if you have any questions, Let's see. Uh, please switch on your camera so that we can see you if you don't mind. And then we can answer your questions directly. Uh, if there are questions that you want to put on the chat that uh, Rudy can handle, perhaps we can handle that as well. So thank you everybody for joining us. We really appreciate it. I see there's a few of our, our clients um, that's, that's been with us on, on the tank side for quite a while. And uh, I thank you for joining us with the AgriDam as well. I believe this is something that you would be able to utilize going, going forward as well. Yeah, no, great. Thank you, Shaw. I think we covered um, everything very thoroughly. Right. Um, please ask some questions in uh, whatever application you were thinking of using it for. Uh, we can design the dome for your specific needs or help you with, with any um, recommendations that we have. And uh, we, we absolutely like like the product it's a very good product i think it's a product that's that's in, in need for our country yes. um, especially if you um, want a temporary structure that's fast to erect and mm -hmm. with, with which is which is durable and uh, so yeah please ask some questions right and uh, i see we don't have any questions uh, on the chat but uh, it seems that we have answered most of the questions so thank you for for joining me today and for really expanding a little bit because I, for one, learned a lot from you as well today and that's, I thank you. Um, so if there's any questions whatsoever, please let us know. So with that, I think if there's no questions, yeah, we're well, going to bid so. you all goodbye until next time. What I would want to say next time, which is next week, Thursday, there's another uh, well, expo home tank, yeah. that would be the home tank. And it's the home tank. Our colleague Cindy is going to do yeah. to the webinar on the home tank. So please join us then as well and you'll see more about that. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting me. I enjoyed it. Thanks for the presentation. And uh, thank you for everyone that joined us. I hope you learned something and please let us know if we can help you and refer other people or colleagues or friends and families to our YouTube channel where we will save all this uh, presentations. You can have a look at it afterwards. And I'm um, looking forward to next week. Thank you so much. Perfect. Thank you, Ronald. Appreciate your time. Goodbye, everybody.